Well, as the minutes tick by, Biden's condition appears to be getting worse and worse. But worse still, it's on full display for all of America to see. So it's really just a matter of time, really, before Kamala Harris is installed as the next president of the United States when Nancy Pelosi decides to use the 25th Amendment according to plan. I've got the details. Before I go further, if you're new here, tap the red button down below to subscribe, then hit the notification bell when you do. And always remember, you can access the Next News Network's ad-free, uncensored bonus content and exclusive interviews at nextnewsnetwork.com. Now, Bronson Stocking from Town Hall reports. You can see the headline, President Biden had another senior moment. The mainstream media may be ignoring Joe Biden's cognitive decline, but it's still there. Over the weekend, Biden attempted to speak extemporaneously, butchering a long list of names in the process before expressing shock and bewilderment at his own forgetfulness. Watch. Uh, uh, excuse me, Finnell, and uh, what am I doing here? I'm going to lose track here. And uh, 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 I think he's getting on a plane. He told me a little last, he came in to see me last event. And representatives, uh, Shirley Jackson Lee, Al Green, Sylvia Garcia, Lizzie Pinelli, uh, uh, excuse me, Pinell, and uh, what am I doing here? I'm going to lose track here. And uh, uh, Mayor Turner, Judge Hidalgo, uh, thank you all for welcoming us. And Jill and I wanted to visit Texas today for a couple of reasons. So sad. It is so sad to see this happening. I mean, this is the leader of America. And if you compare this to President Trump's speech at CPAC, I mean, the differences are startling. President Trump has stamina. He has charisma. He has energy and, 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 and action in all of his words. Biden, it looks like he needs to have another nap. They state here that Biden had to have been the most well-rested candidate in history largely spending the campaign season in his basement, avoiding the press, probably because of moments like this. They state that whenever he did venture out, Biden forgot where he was, who he was speaking to, what state he was in, and how many grandchildren he has, or whether he was even standing next to his wife or his sister, and just about everything else you can expect from an elderly man with dementia. Now, let's take a look at just a few examples of his rapidly declining cognitive ability. Watch. Look. Tomorrow's Superstar Tuesday, and I want to thank you all. I tell you what, I'm rushing ahead, aren't I? 150 million people have been killed since 2007 when Bernie voted to exempt the gun manufacturers from liability. It would put 720 million, back, million women back in the workforce. Nobody should be in jail for a nonviolent crime. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. What's not to like about Vermont in terms of the beauty of it? And what a neat town. Play the radio. Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. We choose science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. Think about it. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing. You, you know the thing. Brian, roll back that first clip. We're going to play that again at some point. I know it. But they state that whether somebody is in a state of cognitive decline or not, it seems like an important question when that somebody wants to be the president of the United States. It certainly was a question the mainstream media pondered during President Ronald Reagan's second term. But to the left, anybody was better than Trump. Besides, if things get too far out of hand, as I stated at the open, the 25th Amendment is always there to make Kamala Harris the next president. Uh, uh, excuse me, Pinnell, and uh, what am I doing here? I'm going to lose track here. And uh, uh, I'm going to lose track here. Absolutely disgraceful that his family lets him go out there and do this, that the Democrat Party puts him out there as a puppet. I mean, how can they think that this is going to fly? You cannot hide these things. They are on full display. But of course, he does have the media running cover for him all day long. But we're not going to let that slide. We're going to continue to cover this, and we're going to ask the tough questions that need to be asked, because clearly there is something very, very wrong here. 
Well, thank God for Jill Biden. I don't know who would be answering the questions if she wasn't there to save the day. Wait till you see the clip we're about to play. Before I do, if you're new here, tap the red button down below to subscribe and then hit the notification bell when you do. And always remember, you can access Next News Network's uncensored, ad-free, bonus content and exclusive interviews before anyone else at nextnewsnetwork.com. Let's go to Kristen Taylor, the Gateway Pundit, who reports that Dr. Jill Biden jumped in to answer a reporter's question to Joe Biden. It happened during an interview on Univision about the treatment of migrant children in camps. The open borders Biden administration reopened a child migrant detention center once used by the Trump administration to handle a surge of thousands of child migrants illegally pouring over the border. Of course, this same facility was once referred to as a concentration camp by AOC. Now, this is a response to Biden reversing President Trump's policy of not allowing unaccompanied minors into the country. Now, the Univision reporter asked specifically about a report of the children that would be placed in tents. Video posted by MRC Latino shows Jill Biden cutting off Joe as he speaks so she could give a better answer than the stock answer that he was giving. Jill Biden defended her husband's policy, saying it's just more humane than the previous administration. Watch. Mr. President, in five weeks you've been in office, you have been taking many actions to revert uh, Trump administration's anti-immigration policy. But today, the Washington Post reports that your administration has plans to open tents at Del Rio, a, a town close to the border. Can you confirm that? Right now, there's thousands of unaccompanied children coming across the border. Mm -hmm. In Texas, they opened up one, one that was a former uh, one used in the, in the administration, the last administration. Our hope and expectation is that won't stay open very long, that we'll be able to provide for every kid who comes across the border safely to be housed in a facility that's licensed. And this administration is doing it in a humane way. And that's really important. I mean, we want to make sure that these children are safe, that they get mental health services, they get physical health services, they get education. Oh, they get education? What about all the kids, uh, citizens, that are not getting their education right now because you have all the schools closed, right? Of course, it's always more humane when the Democrats do it, but it's a concentration camp if President Trump does it, right? Either way, you saw it right there. Jill Biden for the win, saving the day from Joe Biden. He was clearly about to fumble and stumble over his own words again uh, with his cognitive decline continuing. But Jill Biden noticed and she jumped in to save the day.